Welcome back, Drift King. Thanks, Anna. When we last left off, we entered the, the, the Goliath racetrack, and unfortunately, we somehow didn't win. It is now my ultimate goal to beat the Goliath racetrack, and I'm even willing to get an actual supercar to compete in this. That's as many tens as we, I think we might be able to get. <laughs> it's just wood. <laughs> I made this car myself back in like woodwork class. Ah uh, yes, wood and carbon fiber. The best combination of building materials. <laughs> it's driftwood. <laughs> okay, how fast can we go? How fast can we go? <laughs> oh good God. How many points am I gonna get from just taking this for a spin? <laughs> like that multiplier is just getting stupidly high. Collect it, please. But we can make it go higher. We can get so much just by barreling through the countryside. It's actually remarkable. Like, look at that. We just jumped over a mountain. RT, you have caused unmitigated harm to the delicate ecosystem of the desert. Yeah, but look how many points I've got. Oh, the car blipped. I might need to repaint some of the wood. Sign up for a Horizon Tour to race against drive tires with five other players across Mexico. You know what? Let's try- I didn't know I was accelerating. Let's try it with people. I think we're ready. <laughs> S1 only. Oh, ball. Uh, Alright. I, I gotta beat the other team, so I assume I just need to get into the lead. Excuse me, gang. Sorry, I just need to hit this checkpoint. See, the problem is... We don't have the right car for the job. If I was in Driftwood, instant first place. That's the main problem here. Like Driftwood, I would have dodged that tree. I, I think there's something wrong with my Xbox controller too. I don't know why, but whenever I try to like turn right, it just like shocks me with electricity. And my little brother, who I didn't know I had one until like five minutes ago, is also keeps pressing X on the controller. It's really distracting. Here, Timmy, Timmy, you try it. Just see if it's working. Zip. Yeah, it seems to be working. He's not moving now. Rips. The pro no, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's on my team. Look out. Yeah, I'll look out for you next time, buddy. <laughs> Let me turn. <laughs> I can still overtake him. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh. oh, god damn it. There's only three of us. Oh, god. This one actually keeps on the road very well, when, even when you drift. So we're going. We don't need roads. Okay, maybe we do. Maybe this is why I'm crashing so much. Like, the windscreen's pretty badly beat up at this point. Because, like, visibility is, like, pretty dampened. <laughs> I didn't even see, like, that tree coming up there. God, if I go a bit slower, I don't hit them as much. I'll never go slow again. Difficulty in sentence. What difficulty have we been playing on? Do I dare to set them to unbeatable? <laughs> Look at the points we're gonna get. No one can beat us. We're already on unbeatable difficulty. Unbeatable difficulty, you say? I'm sa- let me take that again. At least we're beating this one guy. That's who the real race is against. Uh, I'm gonna try rewind to a point where I was not sideways on the road. You're never gonna believe what's happening with my controller, guys. Like, a compartment has opened, and there's literally just a knife protruding out of it that stabbed me right now. I'm, like, I I I'm doing my best to just, like, kind of keep racing, but, like, there's a lot of blood. I don't know what's going on with my controller. Come on. Oh, this is why this guy's at the bottom of the pack with me. He hits the corners, too. <laughs> that, I'm ahead of him. I'm ahead of him, and the finish is coming up. Give me this game. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I just beat an unbeatable driver? Did I just beat a quote-unquote unbeatable driver? 11 is double first. I think we're ready for Goliath, but round two. Hang on, I missed it. Hang on, let me just turn the car around. Hang on, let me... <laughs> Come on, you piece of shit. Enter the event. I'm feeling ballsy. I think I'm above average now. I'm an above average driver. Here we go. 
And we're taking it this time. Our most powerful wooden car yet. <laughs> no! <laughs> no rewinds, bar that one. And those two, that's that's technically the same spot. You know, that's, that's, that's the last one. Come on! That's the last rewind, for real, he's this time. For, <laughs> why do I suck so bad? I don't suck at all. The Drift King, damn it. And we drift. That's been the problem. I haven't been drifting enough. All right, now we win it. And we're not slowing down again. Oh, my turn. I'm catching up on them. It's not over yet. Now it might be. Tactical barrel roll. During this first lesson, you'll learn all about the main hand and foot controls of the car, how to complete a cockpit drill, how to move away safely from the side of the road, and then pull up safely again. There might be some useful advice here. The steering wheel is used to turn the front wheels of the car when changing direction. Okay, I knew that. When using the steering wheel, pull and push the wheel through your hands without crossing them over. Without crossing the hands, right. To signal, move the stalk in the same direction you'll turn the steering wheel for the maneuver. <laughs> there are usually five forward gears and one reverse gear. Okay. Each gear controls the amount of power transmitted to the driving wheels of the vehicle. The location of each gear is displayed on the top of the gear lever. Make yourself familiar with this in each car that you drive. What do you do if you're off the road? Between the gears, your position is lovely. <laughs> <as> neutral. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck in Mexico. The accelerator or gas pedal. Oh, I know that one. You don't need to tell me that one. With the right foot. I got a trick tip for you. Speed of the car if your right foot gets tired, a brick works just as well. Clutch. The clutch pedal is used with the left. <laughs> <foot. laughs> If possible, keep your heel on the floor and use the ball of your foot to operate. My head pedal. is spinning. Look up and down the road for traffic before opening the door. Safety is paramount. As soon as you're seated, check that the handbrake is applied by pulling up on it <laughs> like this. Leaving the car safely. <laughs> when you're in the correct seating position, adjust your driving mirrors so that you have a clear view of the road behind and to the sides of your vehicle. Front, sides, sides, behind. Some mirrors are electrically operated and may require you to turn the ignition. <laughs> Don't key. use the mirrors. Some fuel gauges register when the ignition is switched off. Others, however, will only register when the ignition is switched on. Moving off. I don't think the lesson helped. I'm having my driving test tomorrow. Hopefully, thanks to your incredible instructions, I'll pass it. Ah, you'll do just fine. Don't worry. We got training from the best professional there is. Oh, that was my turn. The problem with this car is it's just too good. The greatest artists work under limitations. This is just giving me too much potential to drive. That's the issue. Yeah, I think it was the next turn, actually. I want to try get like the biggest jump possible. All right, I'm gonna try it. This car is so battered. Look, it's been, a, it's been a rough day. You know what it's like to drive through a caldera? Oh my. Stuck. Stuck, I've somehow balanced the car on the rock. None of my wheels are on the ground. <laughs> the lift king. There's just a photographer here taking pictures of the mountain range. This is the last thing he sees before he dies. I've always wanted to make it to the mountains in Mexico. It's finally saved this precious moment. I can't wait to show everyone. Oh God, oh God. A photographer was struck down tragically in the Mexican mountains as a 2018 McLaren Senna at an altitude of 4,000 feet was going 200 miles per hour. Tragically just went over a rock and didn't see him in time. Lower the difficulty. I gotta, I gotta try. Nah, I gotta try to get better at racing. I would love to actually just get really good at this game. Training arc 
But we did take a driving yeah. lesson today, so you know, our training's well, like well underway already. So I, I need to get back. I think I know what my problem is. It's holding me back in a lot of these races, and it's just that I refuse to use the brakes no matter what. And I really need to remember that I'm holding my controller with two hands, and one of them is on the left trigger. All right, wh what would be a good race for me to learn how to drive? And should I make like a worser car for myself? Uh, I feel like just a standard Honda is about the level I want to be at. Oh my god, this feels slow. This feels so slow. Oh god, it's like we're going to pick our kids up at school, but like in the 90s. Oh, if I stoop so low. I used to be the Drift King back in college. My name meant some- oh, I may have hit a pedestrian there, hang on. My name used to mean something. I was a household icon. Now look at me in my Honda. Washed up racer. How do you think we do on Goliath in this car? <laughs> oh no, I don't even have the idea. Relax and drive time. With my favorite mixtape. Full of all your 2006 era classics. Great job! You did it! Double eagle! How does he turn so smoothly? Oh, if you let off the gas, you go slower. I don't have to hold it down. Look at that. Easy turn. Guys, I'm doing it! Look at this. Look at... Lost it. I need, need to practice more. I'm gonna pick up my kids first because I love them more. No, I'm gonna pick up my kids first. And we're gonna get the best par par parking spot at McDonald's. So let off the gas. Oh. Let off the gas. Brake. Mama's caught up with him. Holy shit, he's learning. The problem was all these fancy vehicles. You see, I was just I was just trying to make the point, because when you cut out all the fancy elements and you go down to the fundamentals of driving, that's when I shine. Now everyone's back to basics. And you can't beat me, except this guy who's currently in first. I'm gonna catch him. Just biding my time. No. Mikey. Mikey. Mikey, d yo. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Dad's gonna get the best parking spot at McDonald's. It's just a several hours drive yet. We got it. You know how long it takes to drive across Mexico? Ultimate clean racing. Clean, healthy fun. The most exciting race since sliced bread. No crust. Crust is a little too excited. Keep racing like this, your new monkey here will be Mr. Clean. <laughs> he used to call me Mr. Clean back in college. It was just really tidy. I'm not even drifting that much. No! ODST Gamer 65, why? Don't take this from me. I'll kill you. Oh my god, I'm getting angry. I will destroy you. Don't do it, Mikey. Don't do it. Oh my god, he's veering away. Mikey. Mikey, please. No! My lead! Bond's back! He's turning into me! Now is my time to shine. Take that, Mikey. It's weird, because like the, s the simplest of overtakes in like this format are like some of the most important and exciting moments. Like I just overtook that man. Whereas before I'd be like drifting through a wood, slamming into a corner. But like this, that moment matters a lot. Don't you fucking dare, Mikey. You're not getting to McDonald's before me. Oh! Big moment there. Big moment. The Drift King has returned. <laughs> Honda is the car I need it all along. Am I actually going to do it? The car's not even, like, horrifically broken! Did you know? They used to call me the Drift King. Back in college. Yes, you did it! Oh, wow! I am glad you did, because I don't think I can sit through that again. Yeah, me neither, Haley. <laughs> it was a long race. It was way too long.